Hi, I'm Craig, and this is Eat, Sleep, Bow, Hunt, Repeat. Well, um, I just thought I'd start with the basics, um, with the target, um, and what I use for a target and what I recommend. Um, it'll end up costing you under $20, um, and that's including a little bit of, bit of fuel to uh, get to Kmart. So, what I suggest you go and pick up one of these um, wool bales. Um, you pick them up at any... Um, um, rural, rural supplier. Um, I got this from um, Farmland. Um, it was under fifteen dollars, so they're nice and durable, um, and they last for ages. And they even take um, the wear and tear of uh, broadheads. Um, so after you've gone and got yourself um, the wool bale, go down to your local Kmart at the back um, where they put their uh, rubbish. They will uh, have these um, bags of um, recyclable plastic. Go down and get probably about six um, big bags. You're gonna need every single one of them um, because they do compact down um, quite a bit. Um, what I suggest is they, they come in these big bags, you know, rip them open and put all this stuffing in individually. You wanna stuff it into that bale nice and tight so that there's uh, no air pockets. You wanna have the entire bale, all the corners fully stuffed uh, with this plastic. You probably, um, if you want to do a full bale, um, which I recommend, especially for um, those who are suburban shooters, um, you still want to get out there and have a shot, but you need you need to get yourself a, a, a good um, backing, backstop. Um, with one of these as your target, you really don't need one um, because they are so big. And listen, if you're not hitting um, a fully stuffed um, wool bale, um, you've got some issues. So uh, anyway, I'll show you um, how to do it and um, how it turns out and like I said it will end up costing you under twenty dollars and that's including petrol uh, to get yourself to Kmart to get yourself some of this plastic all right well um, I'll get to it and show you how it's done anyway so like I said just um, get your plastic out of these bags and um, put them in there all individually A little bit of a, um, a tip here, when you think you're done, you're not. Uh, you've got to really compact it in there to stop those arrows. But once you have done it and have um, filled this chocker block full of this recycled plastic, it's just stopping any arrow dead flat. And there you go, um, finished product. Um, yeah, just clip the um, the top down. Um, I've only uh, filled that three quarters full of plastic, um, as I like to use um, just the base there. Um, I don't like to use the full bale as the target. Um, and as it gets um, blown out by um, arrows, um, last for ages if you're only using uh, the field um, points. But with the broadheads, it sort of uh, chews it out a little bit quicker. Still does all right, um, but yeah, being broadheads, it does chew it out. Um, just rotate the uh, corners around and start again. Like I said, at um, under $20, um, I don't think you really can go um, past it. Anyway, I'll put a couple of arrows through it and show you how it goes. All right, well there you go, a uh, target backstop uh, for under $20. Um, I've only uh, three quarters filled this because um, I'm only really using it as a target, not as a backstop. But if you wanted to use it as a backstop, you'd go ahead and uh, completely fill it 
Um, so you've got it yourself a full bale. Um, anyway, that's what I, I use. Give it a go. And remember, eat, sleep, bow hunt, repeat.